Estongo! Seminologi! Mojinete, Adamnete, he lives in Pumpala. Flo Chow Chipkados. Jeremy Legidos. Jeremy Nitkezi Noxuta. He a Legos. Oh, Moe. Mama Digos. Oh, oh, but uh, Fitta, he lives in Oa. He, he. Big boy weather. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Talk that. Emo. Oh, really, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. It's another great day in Seminole Nation. We, we um, are just very excited to yes. be here today. Another great radio show. We just would like to talk about all the happenings that's yes. going on around the res. We are just so very excited. So excited. To be here to be here on your radio dial today so implored and grateful on this tuesday september 24th very very um very docile i think we're very excited mm-hmm. today I, you just can feel the excitement in the air you after can. Seminole nation days all week i mean you know what it was it was a good time man we had a little bit of everything yes we had heat mm-hmm. we had rain we mm-hmm. had wind we had cold th- some tears were shed there's a lot of laughter mm-hmm. I mean, there it was like just a plethora, mm-hmm. a plethora of emotions and weather. Yes, everything you would want. <laughs> All maybe. packed into three days. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what was your favorite thing about Seminole Nation Day, Slow? Um, my favorite thing, um, probably, um, oh, I really, there was a lot of good things. I would say probably the traditional dress contest. I think. That oh, okay. Fun. Okay. Man, for me, I would say, you know, we had our Chedo Choga Skotka mm-hmm. second annual tournament, and the little the little kid that won, mm-hmm. and when he when he figured out because it, it tied on the first one, the second round tied again, and on that third one he won, and he boy he jumped up with both hands in the <laughs> air, both feet in the air. And when he went, the crowd went wild and erupted. <laughs> it, man, it, it made me feel, you know, made me feel happy, and it, it was a good, it was a good time. So he was excited about that, and he was all talking to him. If I win, if I win, and I was kind of hyping them up beforehand. I was mm-hmm. like, if you win, it's when you win, when you win. <laughs> and uh, he was like, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You know, he's only twelve, <laughs> so that 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 was a good good time. Um, what about food-wise? There food is a wise? lot of different foods out there, mm. and there was kidneys, there was uh, frog legs, there was calf fries, hamburgers, Indian tacos, all sort of pork chops, corn. What was your favorite thing that you had? Well, I didn't get to venture out into the food, um, the food vendors that much, but I do want to say mado to those people at the Veterans Center for making them glizzies, the hot dogs. I have to say Mado because those really carried me. I had three of them. Yeah, they came in clutch. Yeah, but I, um, I did hear there was a lot of good food vendors. I did have a snow cone. That was my favorite part. That was my favorite one. I think my favorite, man, my favorite was probably the corn. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we, we can only eat them so so often. And, man, it was it was so good. Oh, it was so good. It's fresh and it had spray butter and mm-hmm. threw some salt on there. I've seen that. Woohoo. I think I seen some I seen somebody one day and or one of those nights and they were just standing like this like just upright just holding two of them. <laughs> yeah, and they was hot too. <laughs> I about burned my hand trying to eat it. But it, man, it was good. What about let's see. Arts and craft vendors. Did Ooh. you notice anything? Anything that stuck out to you? Yes, I did. I went by this one stand. I don't know who they were, but shout out to them. I seen a hair barrette, and I was like, I was looking at them. I was still trying to sell stuff at my booth, too. And I said, hold on to this. Don't let nobody buy this. I'll be back. And then right before all the vendors closed, I ran over there. I gave them my 25, and I got that hair barrette. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it was like, it was kind of like old style, too, so I really liked that. Mm, you know, I seen... I think his name was Justin Bible. He was mm-hmm. out there. Oh yeah, shout out to him. And just man, he brought he had a good booth. Mm-hmm. He had some um some stickball sticks out there. He had some art. He did some 
t-shirts he created mm-hmm. himself and screen printed himself and man he was like a one-man booth and mm-hmm. everything that he had in there is like all handmade by him so shout out to justin and then of course there was all the everyone that we know all the cousins was out there mm-hmm. and so it was just a good time if uh, you didn't make it out to seminole nation days this weekend um you definitely missed out because one it's like a big old family reunion when you go out there too you see all your friends out there three um the food the f- oh yeah the food the food and then all the shade that we had this year came in handy mm-hmm. it came in clutch mm-hmm. on saturday um with the pavilions and the arena because woo, it was hey ye mm-hmm. oh it was hey ye. and then sunday it got hot and then that storm front come through and it cooled it off but man it was it was a good weekend though and you know, there's a lot of things that we'll be going over on the radio show, but man, it was a good weekend. Anything else you'd like to talk about the weekend? Um, no, not really. I think that's it. Good deal. And just one quick shout out. You know, a lot of people only see the folks in the carts when they're out there, but man, there are so many people that put in behind the scenes work that never really get to see the lie today because they're in a building scheduling or they're um, setting up or tearing down. And, and so I want to just give a quick shout out to all those nation employees that put in probably well over 20 hours mm-hmm. this weekend, making sure everything went off and hit right. And so Mado for every, all the nation employees. And then also, all the ones that uh, were parking and all the volunteers. And so, Mado, Jigay, Jay, Dosh, Jay. Woohoo. All right. What else you got, Florence? Um, we'll go right into the church service dates for Fourth Sunday. Um, this Sunday will be September 29th. So, those having church meetings will be Arbica, Big Arbor, Hickory Ground, Number One, High Springs, High Springs, Conowa, Hilltop. Little Casita, Middle Creek Number One, New Arbor, Okima, Rock Spring, Anadarko, Rial Community. Rial. Is it Rial? Rial. Rial. Like Madrid. <laughs> Y'all, I thought I did good. Uh, you, how, how you're do you you're say getting it? too fancy. It's Ryle. just Rial. Rial. <laughs> it's just Rial. Rial Community. <laughs> I mess up on that every time. I thought I'd fix it. Bring it back home, Flo. <laughs> Bring it. It's just Ryle. <laughs> Ryle Community, Salt Creek Baptist, Seminole Baptist, Snake Creek Number One and Number Two, Trenton, Mayan Creek, and We Gay One. Woohoo! All right, and like we always talk about, if you want to visit some of these churches, just make sure that they are having their church or their church meetings this weekend, because some sometimes they visit other churches and support other churches and. It'll be a good one. And also a quick shout out to Pastor Mark Smith at Middle Creek Number One. Uh, always a big supporter of the show and always talks to me every time he sees me about what's going on in the Seminole Nation. Even there to ride on the other side of the, the boundary. But uh Mado for listening in. Pastor Mark Smith, Middle Creek Number One. And then every week we talk about the ones that have started their journey. And a lot of families are missing loved ones today. You know, we're all probably coming off such a good time of Seminole Nation days, but there's families out there missing loved ones today. And so we do want to remember those families and members of the community in your thoughts and in your prayers. And at this time, let's go ahead and pause for a moment of silence. All right, Mado, Mado, Mado. And so what we're going to do this morning is kind of recap some of the winners from this weekend and some of the uh, the news of notes, you might say. And a lot of this stuff you'll be able to find on the Seminole Nation Day celebration page. And uh, all the winners will be posted throughout the week. But we do have some that we would like to share. And so your winners from the Seminole Nation Day's Youth Fishing Derby and Flo, did you see some of the pictures they were pulling out? Yes, those were big Boy, fish. Boy, they were some big old fish. Was I was biggins. like, golly, I didn't That's know they had some. I know, I didn't know they had them down there. 
And so, from ages five to seven, most fish caught was Yuffie Mac with four. The biggest catch was Ryder Williams, two pounds, seven ounces. And the smallest catch was Maya Maupin, point zero one ounce. Just <laughs> mm-hmm. And so you win the prize, I think, for the smallest one. I, that thing probably barely fit on the hook. <laughs> you want to go do the eight oh, to yeah. ten? Uh, ages eight to ten, most fish caught. Lawson Stanridge with five. Biggest catch, Ryder Lorney at two pounds. And smallest catch, uh, Javian Garcia. 12.12 12 ounces. And then ages 11 through 13, most fish caught is that Fierce Williams was 16. Mm. They must have had some stink bait on them hooks. Biggest catch, Jordan Johnson, 2.13 ounces. And then the smallest catch, Skylar Retschke with 0.4 ounce. And then uh, Seminole Nation Day's volleyball tournament, second place goes to Excuse me. Um, can you do that one? Uh, my my screen's messing the up. The one for Cedo Ball Slappers. Yes. Sorry, my screen's messing <laughs> up. And your champions, champions are, are <laughs> Team Tribe. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh. <laughs> okay, your archery competition. Adults, third place. Rolston Haley. Second place. Donald Jim. First place. Brian. Stop, boss. First place, Brian Harjo. And the youth 13 to 17 division. Third place, Xander Beard. Second place, Ethan Burkhart. And first place, first place, first place, Ethan Harjo. All right. And then on Thursday, we had the 2024 2025 Seminole Nation Princess Pageant that was held on Thursday night, September 19th. Congratulations to the new royalty and ambassadors of the Woo-hoo. nation. They will be on the program shortly, but we wanted to give some quick shout outs to Emma Wise, who won the Little Miss Seminole Nation crown. The Junior Miss Seminole Nation title went to Annalise Martinez. And your new 2024 25 Miss Seminole Nation. Addison Beaver. And so congratulations to the new princesses and a great job. To the rest of the young ladies that competed, they all did a great job representing themselves and their families. And a pageant video will be released soon. But, um, you know, it takes a lot for these young mm-hmm. ladies to get out there. And, you know, they work months. You know, we mm-hmm. usually right after Seminole Nation Days, people start hitting up language so they can start working on, like, their, their intros and stuff. And so they already start looking forward to next year. So some of these young ladies started working on this about a year ago. And they kind of put their life, like, a lot of this, you know, It takes away from, like, school sometimes, and so, you know, and a lot of tears are shed, and, man, we just want to say thank you and Mado to those families, and especially to the ones that uh, put themselves out there a little bit, because not everyone does it, and, you know, it takes a lot of guts and courage to get out there and do what they did, and even if they didn't win an award, they all still did great, and, you know, there has to be a winner, but um, I think everyone no matter who would have won the crown, would have represented well. And so I want to encourage them young ones that put themselves out there. Keep on. Y'all Y'all did good. And so uh, hopefully see you out there next year too. Right? Yes. And so um, like we mentioned earlier, refer to the Seminole Nation Day celebration page, um, and you'll continue to see winners posted throughout the week. And then the second annual Native Market, November 9th, 2024, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the OAP building um, at the Mississippi Mission. Um, concession will be available. Uh, a 10 by 10 space is equal to a $40 plus $40 plus donation for item for the silent auction. 45 spots will be available, and the deadline will be October 18th. For more information or to reserve your spot as a vendor, contact Marcy B. Harjo at 405-563-9057. 
Ooh, and it's free admission. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. And it's that time now. we got to start getting ready for Christmas. Yep. And all these native markets will start popping up. And, that, man, that's where I do a lot of my Christmas shopping at. So hopefully someone will be cutting me some deals because I'm kind of broke after Nation Days now. Oh, gotcha, Kimo. <laughs> 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 all right. And then BCR Commission over the past few weeks, the Business and Corporate Regulatory Commission Program. I always wonder what BCR stood for. That's what it is. A hmm. uh, program has focused on understanding and implementing the new vehicle registration law that took effect on August 31st. The law changed the process for registering vehicles purchased from both dealerships and private sellers and to ensure that you can affect that the BCR can effectively assist our tribal members with these new procedures. They have put out and met with uh, tribal tag offices across the state, both in person and virtually. And there is a document that is online uh, on the Facebook page that tells you uh, kind of if you bought your purchase or you bought your vehicle from a dealership or if you bought it from a private seller, kind of the steps that you'll have to do to make sure you stay in compliance because now everyone's keeping the tags and all you mm-hmm. got to do, some of these you'll have to get a temporary tag for it. And so make sure you go read that um, that memo from the BCR. And then from the Boys and Girls Club, on September 17th, the Boys and Girls Club of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma hosted its second annual Great Futures Banquet, bringing together 330 guests and 30 dedicated volunteers in a heartwarming celebration of their mission. It was a joyous occasion. It was a joyous occasion. The evening raised both awareness and much-needed funds to continue providing a safe and nurturing environment for our local children and youth. At the BGCSNOK, we focus on helping each child develop good character, respect for culture and diversity, academic excellence, and healthy minds, bodies, and spirits. They are greatly, they are deeply grateful to everyone who attended the banquet and to all who have supported the club throughout 2024. The Seminole Nation, along with many local businesses, schools, families, and foundations, have stepped up to provide for our club over the past year. Uh, their generos- your generosity is helping us make a lasting difference in the lives of children and youth on Seminole lands. They look forward to continuing this important work for years to come, building stronger communities by investing in the next generation. If you want to get involved, you can call them at 405-746-2817. That was touching, Flo. <sighs> Here's a you know, we, we went we went to the uh, that banquet that night. Well, we didn't really go because we was getting ready for Nation Days, but we mm-hmm. snuck a plate from the back, and, it, man, it was good. Mm-hmm. It was a good plate. And so, but they did have a packed house in there. They, mm-hmm. All of 330 people that was there. So, good deal. All right, and also the Choga the Lummy, if you have a story that you would like to share, an accomplishment or local tribal business shout out for the Choga the Lummy or Seminole Nation Radio, you can email seminolemedia at gmail.com for consideration in, in, in the next community spotlight. And then also on Tuesday, October 22nd, a cooking demonstration at the Food Distribution Program Kitchen starting at 1 p.m. This will be led by Teresa Jackson and Keenan Springer. And for more information, you can contact 405-257-7236. And this is a hands-on cooking class. They will make a recipe for you to taste and lead some basic stretching activities. And what's on the menu on that day, Flo? Oh, that you asked? Oh, it's pumpkin raisin bread oh. and pumpkin cornbread. Wow. So to get in the holiday festive spirit of Halloween, come learn how to make some mm-hmm. pumpkin raisin bread and pumpkin cornbread. Okay. That just sounds delicious, doesn't it? Who do it? we call again? You call Teresa Jackson or Kenan Springer at 405 405- Two five seven seven two three six, and again that's October twenty second at one p.m. Oh my no! Inga, Bo, do you have thought provoking music? <laughs> Get it popping. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, <clears throat> boss. Yes. Did you know that during the Battle of New Orleans there was a Seminole presence brought by Sem- brought by Seminole Chief Ben Perryman? That is described wearing a vulture beak on his forehead, along with Muskogee prophet Josiah Francis. 
During the Battle of New Orleans, the Seminole Nation and Muscogee were allies of the British lasting through the War of 1812 and the Red State War. Also, it is described that the Seminoles attending the battle were dexterously ornate with traditional southeastern tattoos in 1815. Did you know that? I did not. And I didn't. I still don't know what dexteriously means. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. Flo, I'm going to ask you. What does this dexteriously mean? I don't know. Let me call my band chief. <laughs> <laughs> why Why would you be calling Jake Tiger your band chief? Because he provided this. Did he, you know? Jake Tiger does provide he the does. did you know. Mado. From historic preservation. Mado, office, Jake. So. Mado. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you... If any service member with an honorable discharge, the honor guard is still looking for help. And so if you are out there and uh, you're a former military and you have an honorable discharge and you'd like to give a hand here and there, give Rex Haley a call at 405-220-5342 or you can email Haley.r at sno-innocent.gov. And I'm also going to stop right here and give some kudos to the Honor Guard mm -hmm. because they did a heck of a job as well this weekend. We've seen them at the uh, State of the Nation on Saturday. They marched in the parade. They helped out with the powwow. And then on top of that, Commander Rex Haley was also in charge of all the softball games that was down going on and his staff. And also parking and also everything else mm -hmm. that, that Rex did. So, mudo for everything that you did out there and all your staff. They did a great job. So, keep it up. Right, and then the Housing Authority is still looking for an IT technician. An application for employment can be found at hasnock.org. You can submit your application resume and a copy of your valid driver's license um, at... Uh, administrative officer at org, or you can call 405-257-6604. All right. And then also as a reminder, the Seminole Nation Judgment Fund offices are currently accepting the ARPA clothing assistant applications for students four years, uh, pre-K through high school, 12th grade. The clothing application or the clothing program is only for enrolled Seminole Nation tribal members. First-time applicants must provide copies of their CDIB and tribal enrollment card, and incomplete applications will not be processed and will be returned. And so if um, the receipts are not required this year and disbursements are based on the availability of funds, and so make sure you check with the Judgment Fund. And then the Older American Program located at the Mississippi Mission Center is open and serving meals Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., Friday morning breakfast from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Also, boss, did you know individuals 54 and under can purchase meal trays for $7 cash only? Best meal deal on the res. All right, what are they having today? What is today? Today is the 24th. The 24th? They're having barbecue, baked chicken, Ooh. winter mixed with chocolate cake. What's a winter mix? I don't know what that I is. I think that's salad, isn't it? Winter mix salad? Oh, I thought that was like the seasoning they put on the chicken. No, it says barbecue baked. Oh. So they probably bake it with some barbecue sauce. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. All right. And then Winter also, mixed. hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to speak. OAP will be closed September 26th. That is all. Your turn. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Also, the Seminole Nation uh, Lie Heat Cooling and Heating Assistance, uh, or Cooling Assistance that began June 10th. Um, if you have any questions, applications will be accepted until funds are exhausted. You can contact Seminole Nation Social Services, 405-786-5025. Right. And then Winter Lie Heat, uh, they still have some funding uh, left that can be used for propane, natural gas, electric wood, and you must reside in Seminole County, must be an enrolled member of a federally recognized tribe. If working, must provide income or if on Social Security, provide an award letter. And then they still also have the Emergency Tribal Assistance Program, and that's for Seminole Nation tribal members only, and that can assist with electric, natural gas, propane, or rent. And if 
you haven't noticed, this is starting to cool down a little bit outside. Mm-hmm. So have them call 405-786-5025. All righty. And then, let's see. Uh, from We Woke It in Health Services, uh, plan your visit today for the newest COVID vaccine and annual flu vaccine. Get both vax at the same visit. Immunizations available Monday through Friday at the clinic. And then... I think I'm going to get stuck. What do you mean? I'm going to go get my two my two vaccines. Eee. I probably shouldn't do this, but I put them off every time just because... I don't know. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. But it's still your choice. I know. But one visit, two vaccines. I'm going to knock them out in one arm. Get them in the arm that I can't sleep on. And so I'll do that. That is convenient. I know. And then job openings. If you're looking for a job, make sure you check out Seminole Nation and consider us Seminole Nation Department openings for fiscal services, human resources, IT, older American program, transit, the community opioid prevention and empowerment program, Head Start, child care, tribal court, child support services, enrollment, and treasury. You can visit www.sno-nsn.gov and select the Careers tab to click on one of the departments listed and see the job vacancies and to fill out an online application. Woohoo! All right. Sand Creek Baptist Church welcomes you. Fall Revival, October 9th through the 11th, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, Gerald Best will be the guest speaker, and I believe they will start at 7 p.m. Their theme is In Spirit and in Truth. Um, come and worship with us. Refreshments are served nightly. You need a ride, you can call 405-221-0180. Also, the PCG Indian Mission is hosting the Carbitcher Memorial Gospel Singing Saturday, September 28th. That's going to be this Saturday at 6 p.m. Everyone is welcome. Concession will start at 5 p.m. Call-in orders are welcome because guess what, Flo? What? They have Indian tacos and burgers. <gasps> And so if you have any questions or want to get that order called in early, 405-380-7184. And if you're not quite sure where the PCG Indian Mission is, it's on 322 West North Street, Kanawha, Oklahoma, 74849. And man, that Indian taco on that flyer does look delish. All right. Money, money to walk. All right, then. Well, everybody's favorite segment, um, happy birthday to Hunter Johnson, Jenny Miller, Clayton Wind, Brian Givens, Lenora Hobaya, Barney Leader, Deanne, Deanne Miller Haney, Carla Ripley, Tiffany Samilton, Robertson, Leslie Hill, Tristan Lawrence, Alicia Scott, Jared Johnson, Rick Walker, and Taylor Barnett. Woohoo! Is that it? All right, and so people are asking about the T-shirts and what we're going to be doing. Just so you know, Mm -hmm. if you listen to the radio show, those black T-shirts with mine and Flo's face on them are promotional items that will be handed out in contests. You might have to call in. Um, There might be different different things that you can win a t-shirt on and so make sure you stay listening uh to kwsh and also the seminole nation radio program Mm -hmm. you can catch the rebroadcast of this radio show on the facebook page youtube and tribal website sno-nsn.gov for the seminole nation of oklahoma every wednesday around 8 p.m if you have news or announcements you want to share on the community and events facebook page please email the communication staff at seminolemedia at gmail.com or call 405-652-7251. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, tune in every Tuesday at 11 a.m. right here on KWSH 97.7 FM or the legend Dairy. 1260 a.m. and streaming live on kwshradio.com worldwide. Mado and G. Jothy.